Billy, Billy. And now he's Grandpa. things that I do apart from woodwork is uh, I'm involved with um, this little fella here Billy yeah, yeah okay and um, Billy is a member of uh, a troop of puppets that um, tell Bible stories and um, entertain at Sunday schools and and uh, another project yeah tell everybody right good yeah yeah no you do Okay, uh, and uh, one of the things that we have to do is uh, to build a puppet theatre. Um, and so um, I'm going to take you back down to the workshop and uh, I have a particular problem that, um, that uh, we've solved and I thought you might be interested in, in how we went about that. So uh, it's not quite wood, it's a bit of PVC, a uh, bit of wood turning um, and uh, yeah, that's what this one's all about. So, hope you enjoy. Hi, Will. Thank you, Jabili. Hi. <laughs> Okay, so here is a problem that um, we have. Um, the picture you, which we've just shown you is, is um, of the framework of the puppet theatre, and I could not get a Y piece which fundamentally uh, looks like that. Uh, that acts as a corner, three corner, so that uh, pipe is installed uh, this way and this way and an upright uh, through that comes up in here. So um, the closest I can get is a 90 degree angle and uh, what I decided to do was to cut it on a 45 degree angle um, across this point here um, or in fact across this point here so that they will join together like so and uh, but to do that um, I had to try and work out a, a, a way in which we could uh, keep this firm in position uh, as I fed it through, uh, in fact, my bandsaw, which was the, uh, the safest way of cutting it. And so, <clears throat> so basically we came up with uh, this block of wood, which we could, we could fit the angle on and I don't know if you can see it but at this point here at the mid on the middle of this block we have a mark here and a mark here on the opposite side now uh, and again you may not be able to see it but there is a seam that runs down either side of these fittings obviously uh, that were in the in the perfect halves of the mold um, so what we're able to do is to line up that mark with the seam and a jam chuck is what I was thinking of so it, it's like a jam chuck and uh, which I turned and in doing that it became uh, a perfect perfectly square so that if I can put that down there, you'll see there's no rock in that. So that's just showing us how perfectly square that was. And that keep and the thickness of the timber here lines up with the the sides of the pipe on all sides, so that when we put it up against the fence to run it through, 
the uh, the bandsaw that uh, it's perfectly stable and I'll show you that operation now okay so the operation there is on a 45 degree angle the block fits snugly in its position I've marked uh, on the timber there the uh, front face the front face of that block and the back is marked there and there so we know that our positioning is correct lock that in position so that we know we've got that right So there we have our piece cut on a 45 degree angle. Okay, we're using a, uh, a high strength contact adhesive so after letting them dry for five minutes Just as a reinforcement though, we'll put um, some yellow fibre tape. Only seven more to go. 